Well, we left off last time, guys. We were in the castle, looking through this crack in the wall to see what the doggos were up to, because the guard dogs of the castle are conspiring to get rid of me. They're still working for the Wisir. And they fully intend for the Wisir to marry Princess Cosima. Oh, there's my walk icon. Come on, Alexander, let's go upstairs. I said let's go upstairs. There he goes. He needs a little bit of encouragement sometimes. Come on, go, go, go. Phew, that was a climb. Alexander hey. hears the faint sound of a woman crying nearby. Chinese wizardry, how you doing tonight? I hope that life's been treating you good since I saw you last. Uh, we were just chatting about things for like a couple hours, well, almost a couple hours, and uh, now we're getting into King's Quest VI, an adventure game from 1992 that I've never played before, but it's turning out to be a lot of fun to go through. I love these types of games. I don't know if anyone else has ever played them before, but God, every time I play this, I have such a good time. Alexander peers through the chinks in the wall, trying to locate the source of the crying sounds. Alexander's palms begin to sweat, and his heart to race. It's Cosima. He's found her. Oh my goodness. Psst. There she is. Princess Cosima. What? Who's there? It is I, Alexander. I'm here behind this wall. My, oh my how suave that sounds. <laughs> Alexander? It really is you! Oh, I knew you were close by, but how did you get inside the castle walls? Ingenuity, my lady. It's a long story and not important now. You did get my ring. Oh, yes. It has brought me such comfort, Alexander, to know you were close by and had not forgotten. But you shouldn't be here. You're only endangering yourself. I don't care about the danger. I would brave anything to learn. What is it? Alhazred, do you want to wed him, Cosima? Of course not. Oh, please believe me when I say that I never agreed to marry that man. Even when my father trusted Abdul absolutely, I never liked him. But with mother and father gone, I'm afraid there's no stopping him. If you do not wish to marry him, Cosima, you shall not. I promise you. Only come with me now, and we shall escape. How? I cannot fit through this wall. Besides, do you think I could leave my kingdom, my people, in Abdul's hands? Maybe. But Abdul would tear the castle apart if I were to disappear from my room. You shall have to do what you can to delay his plans from your end. I can't just leave you here. Alexander, do not despair from me. I have been safe in this room for nearly six months now. Abdul God. can be in no hurry, whatever he plans. After all, I'm to be his bride, am I not? She's been in here for I six months. I have been months. planning too, you see. I believe I can escape. If I can only get a chance to lay my hands on a weapon, there might be an opportunity in the hustle of the wedding. But I... Shh, just a moment more, then you must go. Let us not waste time with words. Please, let me just look at you, dear Alexander. Let me look at you. Yes, my lady, I shall look. Uh, Chinese wizardry. I'm doing pretty good, my man. Just been hanging out here on Twitch with my homies as usual. You know, chilling with some adventure games, talking with everyone. Been probably talking for God, how long we've we been talking for, man. We were talking for almost two hours again. That always happens when we log on. <laughs> Shit. It's always such a good time. The voice acting on this is not bad. They actually hired a lot of professional voice actors for this. Uh, some of them are, in fact, Disney voice talent. Like, the guy voicing Alexander here did the voice of the Beast in Beauty and the Beast. Uh, kind of incredible, to be honest. And then, you know, they've got a bunch of miscellaneous other voice talent who do this, too. Alright, Princess Cosima. I guess we should look at her, or do, do we give her something? 
Can we give her something? What if I give her like a knife? Here, take this dagger. It's not much, but it might come in handy. Why, it's perfect. This is just the sort of thing I've been looking for. Thank you, Alexander. I'll keep it close and use it if I must. Oh boy. I I really hope that that was a good choice. Well, it's either that or this. What if I give her like this, too? Here, you want another weapon? Although Alexander would gladly offer Cosima all that he owns, that item would be of little help to her now. Ah, that's fair enough. Okay, we'll just, we'll just hold on to that. And then perhaps we'll... Uh-oh. Uh oh no! Someone's coming! Uh-oh. The lock on Cosima's door rattles abruptly. Alexander, hurry! Step away before they see you! Oh, they might notice me. Alexander hears scuffling and a woman's brief cry from the other side of the wall. Then, silence. Oh, what if I just look through? Yeah, I'm gonna look through again. Alexander looks through the chinks in the wall, anxious to see what the commotion was about. Well, I bet they'll notice me now. Cosima is gone. Where could they have taken her? How could he have let them take her? Uh-oh. A fine rescuer I'm turning out to be. Wait, was I supposed to do something? Uh-oh. Wait, does this go someplace right here? I don't know. Let's find out. Come on, Alexander. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it does go someplace. Hey! Alright, uh, I think we're gonna save. I, I don't know what we're gonna call this one. Here, we'll call it like, um... Uh, you're gonna go see the Barbie movie tomorrow, Chozo? Are you excited? I've been... I don't know. I hear the Barbie movie is projected to cross a billion dollars, and it's one of the only movies in forever that's gonna cross a billion. Seems like every movie is just flopping now. I kinda wanna see Barbie, too, just to see what all the hoopla is about. My... my girlfriend is all about Barbie right now. She is so excited for the movie. When she heard there was a Barbie movie, she got pumped. And honestly, I just hope it's good. I don't know if I'll see it in theaters, but I'll probably see it when it comes to Max and Alexander stuff. Alexander hears the sound of scratching coming from the other side of the wall. Yeah, I hope I didn't just completely bungle this. I, I hope this is actually the, the game as it's supposed to be played and not me screwing up the sequence of events. You can never tell with a King's Quest game. Alexander looks through the chink in the wall. Alright, let's take a look. What do you see, Alexander? Oh. Why, it's the Wazir, isn't it? Dear Shadrach, salutations from the Society of the Black Cloak, etc., etc. My long preparations are about to come to fruition. Yes? Oh, do I have to click? Ah, oh, shit. Once I've established my power and my crown, I can stage another accident. Hold on a second. Here, I'm gonna restore, because I, I missed that plot point. It might be important. Thank you, thank you, King's Quest, for doing that to me. Waiting just a couple of seconds and then doing and then, and then here. advancing the plot just to so conveniently do a number on me. You're not paying for your ticket, Chozo. Well, if you're not paying for your ticket, then I guess just enjoy the ride. Alexander looks through the chink in the wall. Cause free is a pretty good price. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. Shadrach, salutations in a matter of minutes. I will wed the lovely Casima. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. He's really anxious for his wedding. I'm glad he's happy. But also, what a bastard. Once writing. I've established my power and my crown, I can stage another accident. Oh. Okay, so she's not going to last too long after that marriage, huh? Yeah, I guess I saw that coming. 
you. Go on, let's hear the it. The princess has proven infuriatingly stubborn, as you know. She's becoming quite a dangerous little thorn in my side. Well, the, you did trap her in a room for like six months, so you know, she might be a little put off by it. It has that effect, usually. In a way, it is a shame I have to kill her. She is lovely and would be amusing to keep around, but I can't risk her talking treason to one of the guards. So far, I've managed to keep her locked away, but I can't continue that forever. No, I suppose well, on to it now. I'd send her to you, but as you know, I had no luck in doing so with Mordak. I close in triumph. King Abdul al Hazred. King Abdul. Yeah, what a... Keep dreaming there, bud. <laughs> he thinks he's gonna become king. <laughs> he's gonna be I king. I think it's about time to see if Shamir has taken care of the wench, as I asked. It's almost time for the wedding. The only thing this guy's gonna be king of is King Crap of Feces Mountain. There he goes, ready to put on his crown of turds. The wazir's words fill Alexander with blazing anger and fear for Cosima's life. Oh, that no. blackguard! That murderous swine! He'll not have his way if I have anything to say about it. Girl's taking you out on a date for once, Chozo. Well, I'm happy for you, man. And, yeah, I hope it works out. Just enjoy the ride. Have a good time. It's really cool that she's taking you out. You know, in my experience, I have always found that those are like the best kinds of dates. The ones that the ladies take you out on, right? Instead of the ones that you have to plan all the way through yourself. Like, if... Because, here's the thing, like, with a lot of girls that I've gone out with, a lot of them, it kind of felt like they were trying to get something out of me. You know what I mean? But then I went out on this date with a girl once, and it was like the first girl that I'd ever been on a date with like that. Where, you know, she was like she was like handling things, and I was I was kinda taken aback by it, but also like since it was the first time it ever happened, it was kind of like this revelation, like, oh, it's just this is this is what it's like when someone isn't trying to get something out of me when it felt weird well I mean just just yeah even if it doesn't lead to anything still so just you know have a good time you never know might lead someplace and maybe it'll turn out to be a really good thing. Like, when I met my girlfriend, it's not like I ever expected... I never really expected it to go anywhere. I don't think anyone ever really expects it to go anywhere and they meet someone. Because I met my girlfriend at an art gallery, and then I didn't talk to her again for like... I don't know, maybe like a month or two, something like that. It wasn't for a while until I, like, contacted her. It was wild, because I kind of had to, like, find her through Facebook in order to contact her. Because <laughs> our mutual friend really, uh, I really couldn't be bothered to, like, introduce us to each other after the fact. The walls are dirty and <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, Chozo. Alexander sees nothing. Alex I wonder if we can like break through one of these walls or something. It'd be kind of fun. Is there anything down this way? Wait, no, that looks like an opening. Oh hey. Alexander sees lots of black cloaks? What the hell? I broke through a wall, man. I just Kool-Aid man through this. Not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting that, but hey, this kind of rules. Alright, um... 
it being King's Quest, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna save here, and we're gonna call it. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Hey, Alexander, you maniac! The trunk is locked. Okay. Alexander opens the ebony box and looks inside. Is there a key, mayhaps? Ooh, that looks interesting. A worn old brush is among the box's trinkets. Can we just take everything in the box? There's an old bottle of black ink among the box's trinkets. Yeah, that looks kind of appealing. Some old ivory dice have been left in the box. Dude, what the hell am I going to use all this with? A worn old... Some old... Some old... There's an old... Okay. Inside the ebony box is a piece of paper with the word Zebu printed on it. Oh. Inside... Zebu. Alexander can read the piece of paper without taking... Well, that's fine. The brush is old and small. Finding Gasima is no game of chance. <laughs> <laughs> the bottle contains only a small amount of black ink. Most of it dried at the bottom. Alexander decides to leave it there. All right, so most of this is just useless. That's depressing. I really thought that was going to go someplace. A square red... I don't know. Do they have anything hiding beneath the rug, maybe? The rug is, the rug the is, rug too, heavy. is too heavy to lift. All right, well, it was worth a shot. There doesn't seem to be anything on the bed except for a lot of silk. What if we look under the bed? There doesn't seem... A canopied bed arranged with silk bedclothes and large pillows stands in one corner of the room. A canopy... Okay, um, I'm trying to see if maybe I have a key or something or if I can find a key to open this. Because I kind of want to get into that trunk. Jozo, I hope she does. I hope she wears open toe shoes. You just don't know if you have time for a girlfriend? Oh, uh, well, what's like preventing it? Is it just work or something? Or like streaming or... Cause, like, I stream a shit ton. I don't know. But also, like... I guess it just depends if you can make, if you can like, if you're able to make time for it, you know? Cause I try to make time for my girlfriend. A large, soft cushion has been strategically placed on the cold marble floor to provide a comfy seat near the fire. Yeah, it's a little difficult sometimes with all the streaming activities that I do, but I try to make time for it. I think one of the things I do is I just sacrifice a lot of sleep while I do There's it. There's nothing under the cushion but the floor. Hmm. What? And burn a perfectly good hand? Streaming. Okay. Well, I kind of figured it was streaming. A fire in a small hearth warms the bedroom. Wait, isn't there like something in the pot there? A fire. A fire. I thought there was going to be something in the pot that we could take. Well, never mind. That would have been fun, but I guess we're not going to do that. Alexander is standing in a masculine bedroom. Polished marble walls rise to meet a tall ceiling, and the furnishings have an opulent feeling. He wonders whose bedroom this is. It's probably the Wazir's, isn't it? What if we leave through this door? Is anyone out there? Are we gonna Alexander die? steps confidently out into the upstairs hallway. Ah, we will die. And sees two guard dogs. Well, that was a good effort. Hey, who the? Um, just... Hello there. Don't just stand there, grab him, Bay. Eh, we're dead. I'm not gonna get out of the dungeon this time. I'll huh? bet it's that saboteur fellow the wizard warned us about. I say we run him through right here and now. Wait. No. Woof. The Wazir will run you through if he doesn't get a chance at the prisoner. Let's put him in the dungeon for safekeeping, then we'll go tell the captain. Hey, this... Wolf, you're right. Let's go. Why does this dog sound like John Wayne? I think All someone right. must have let our prisoner loose, Ralph. Who would be crazy enough to do that, Hal? <laughs> I don't know, but if I find out, that traitor will be sorry. Let's keep an extra sharp eye in the halls. We'll make sure no one can get near him again. Oh. Uh, right, Hal. The guard yeah. dog slam the door and lock it. Alexander has a feeling there will be no help from Jello this time. Am I dead? Oh, yeah. Just as Alexander realizes that he has no possible means of escape, he hears the sound of wedding music playing somewhere in the castle. 
Oh. Confound this dungeon. I'll never be able to stop the wedding now. Oh. Tis a noble thing to have a means of escape, and tis a far, far better thing to have never got caught at all. Man. All right, I guess we're not leaving through there, are we? No, no, we are not. Man, that stings. Alexander crawls back through the wardrobe to reach the secret passage. Here, what if we, like, go back this way? And then what if we just, like, keep going, bro? I think we'll be okay. We'll just go back down where we were. And then the hallway maybe will be clear. Actually, do we go this way to get out of here? Which way do we go to get out of this place? <laughs> Oh, that's right. That wait. If there's Alexander a door, if there's a door that opens Alexander up there, o maybe this door that opens up upstairs. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I need to take a look first. Yeah, let's go upstairs, bro. I say let's go upstairs. Come on, Alexander. Go, 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 go. Come on, you got this, man. All right, I'll see if this door. Alexander, opens. see. Alexander, 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 Okay, that's a hard no. That's a pretty hard no. <laughs> it, was, it was worth a shot. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, is there Alexander, here? here's the clear. What if we go talk to, like, Jalo or something? Maybe he's still doing his thing. And maybe he went and got the lamp. He ain't done nothing yet. Alexander sees... Come on, Alexander. Go, go, go. Alexander way? doesn't see. There's nothing. Oh, we can't open that door. Well, there's only so many ways that Alexander can go. Where can he go, man? Like, if he can't go upstairs, where can he go? That's not gonna work. Okay, kind of figured that was gonna be the case. Um, I'm gonna like restore up around. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try opening this. The trunk. And I'll try. Alexander. Alexander. I'm just looking for like another secret passage or something. Maybe there's another secret passage somewhere in this hall. Alexander Kroll. Or maybe there's something else I'm missing entirely. Alexander. Alex. 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 Alexander Just trying all I'm just trying all the walls now. Surely Alexander must have some means of progressing. Ah. Alexander Alex Alex Nah. Come on, go, go, go. Alexander Alex 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 Thank you. 
do I have in my inventory? Here, I'm gonna go back to the bedroom. And Alexander. I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna look in this ebony box again. Alexander. The brush is finding, finding. Inside. Okay. I guess I was supposed to look at that. All right. Alexander, the bra, the box's owner would probably notice it was missing. Besides, Alexander can't think of a use for a box of trinkets. Hmm. The brush, a war, the box contains. There's an old box. The bottle. I think there's a key that I'm missing someplace. something that we missed oh okay um god oh my god there's like a yeah we gotta go like all the way back here oh man okay we're back at <laughs> god we're back at the realm of the dead for real <laughs> oh no Oh, Alexander. The skeleton to the left of the path hands something to the spirits that approach the underworld entrance. Oh, this Ticket, is going to be... please. This is going to be the silliest thing I think we've Next. ever seen. We walked, like, right by this earlier without, without ever thinking about it. But check this out. Alexander picks up the two bones on the ground. Now, what do these bones remind him of? Oh, this is going to be so... Ah, yes. There it is. Now I remember. This... It... The skeletons are overcome with the musical call of the bones. They begin to jiggle, then to dance. <laughs> of course. Perfect. Let's see them dance, huh? I can't believe it. This is what we missed. This is what we had to come back for. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Alright. Are they... Yep, there they go. That's okay. You can dance. You don't have to resist it. Go ahead. Just let it flow through your bones. Feel the music. Ah, there it is. There's a whole chorus line. That's amazing. <laughs> that was... Alexander finishes his tune, and the skeletons resume their posts. Despite their frolic, they don't seem any friendlier. Well, they are in hell, so, you know... But hey, at least we got this. Alexander picks up the skeleton key. Yeah, he'll never notice. He's good. This is what we needed, the skeleton key. Where is it? Right there. I can't believe that's what's going to open the case, man. <sighs> all right, all right. Well, let's give him a ticket, and then we'll... That skeleton has plenty of tickets. Oh, we'll give him this one. I have a ticket. There. Oh, yeah, you sure on. Do. Next. All right, we made it. We're in hell.
Apparently, Alexander's not the only one who's curious about the body on the path. Well, don't say no. Go ahead and pick up what's there, man. Alexander takes the knight's black gauntlet and examines the writing on it. Flesh it may cross the portal and seek its master, death. Flesh may go where death is trod and challenge like Scheherazade, he who reigns beneath the sod to spare a mortal's breath. Mm. Zounds, that sounds serious. I do concur. It is quite serious, good sir. What else the do we have? The ribbon is so old it would crumble at Alexander's touch. God. The knight's skeletal hand seems bare without the gauntlet. Well, he doesn't need it anymore, does he? I wonder how long this thing's been dead. Alexander doesn't want to disturb the knight's hand. Go ahead and do Alexander it. has no need for the old armor. He decides to leave the knight's remains as undisturbed as possible. Alexander... Whoops. Here. Well, let me check my... Let's just go. Actually, let's just go. Ah. Here it is. The river sticks. Yeah, we're going to save, like, right... Actually, not there, but... Yep, yeah, right here. Perfect. I do believe. Okay, let's go ahead and pay our fare, and then we'll cross and... We're going to have a chat with the devil again. Will these or... coins do as fare for passage? Charon accepts the fare and waves Alexander on. Oh, shit. We might have... Here, we should restore. I forgot to do something. Ahem. I forgot to do something extremely important. God, I just can't stop blowing it, can I? No. Sure can't. Of course, obviously, we need to dip our teeth. Alexander in the water. doesn't want to experiment with the organic surfaces of the underworld. They might not like it. Uh, let's try the water then. Alexander scoops a little of the river sticks into the teacup with the swamp ooze, being careful not to get any of the black water on his skin. Excellent. That's what we needed. And now we'll save because now we've we remembered exactly what to do. We actually need that to get into the castle later. Oh, he wants payment. I forgot, he wants Mun Mun. I know I just gave it to him and all, but he wants it again. Will these coins do as fare for passage? Charon accepts the fare and waves Alexander onto the boat. Alright, let's take a nice little boat ride, shall we? Hmm. Just a peaceful voyage across the river Styx. No big deal. Death all around us. It's very easy to die in here. Okay, well that was pretty simple. Hmm. Look Alexander walks too close to the menacing gate. I walked too close. <laughs> I walked too close. All I did was walk up to it. <laughs> and it ate me. Will these... Chairman... Try it again. I can't believe it ate me. <laughs> I guess I have to walk close, but not too close. Oh, you don't want to do that. <laughs> was a pretty good heckle. Okay, let's um, go over to the gate. Let's try to touch the gate this time, instead of walking up to the gate. Alexander reaches out to open the gate. Suddenly, the wood trembles beneath his fingertips. Ooh. What touch has awakened my sleep? 
I smell the blood of a mortal. Reach out thine hand again, fleshy human, that I might devour it. It has been centuries since I last ate. Oh, you must be very hungry then. Where does it all go? No, oh, really, where does it all go? It's just a door. Despite his fear, Alexander summons his bravest voice to command the living gate. I would pass, gate. I have business with your master. My master and thine, human. I would be pleased to introduce thee. Only step forward and thou shalt meet him shortly. No, thank you. I come to meet the Lord of the Dead with my flesh still intact. And why should I let you past, human, when I would much rather eat you? <laughs> I have been told that there is a way for humans to enter Death's realm. There must be something I can do. Some task that will allow me to pass through your doors, Gate. Mm, I seem to recall something. A trick. Uh, perhaps um, a test. Mm, ah, yes. Should a human try to pass, a riddle is Gates wont to ask. <clears throat> A riddle it is, then. And if thou wouldst fail to answer, Gate, his thirsty jaws will be thy fate. Mm. Agreed. Listen as though it meant thy life, then, human, for it surely does. My first is foremost legally. My second circles outwardly. My third leads all in victory. My fourth twice ends a nominee. My whole is this gate's only key. My first is foremost legally. My second circles outwardly. My third leads all in victory. My fourth twice ends a nominee. My whole is this gate's only key. You're lurking hard right now, AJ? Well, I appreciate it. I mean, <laughs> I'm never gonna say no to a lurker, right? I appreciate everyone who watches. And I hope that people are enjoying this. Watching but eating. <laughs> good. What are you eating, man? You eating anything good? Let me guess, you having some Dunkins. I know I would be if I were you. Alright, so the only answer that we really have for this the is The answer love. is love. Ah, thou traitor of the mortal plane, how didst thou guess love? That riddle should never have been solved. Love is unknown in this realm. Love cannot be banished, even from this place. There are spirits still pining of it on the surface above. Still less can it be banished from my heart. Enough! Burden me not with thy poetry. Pass through and quickly before I change my mind. <laughs> yeah, he's a little pissed, isn't he? Alright, well, here we are at Death's Throne. Um, yeah, Death, he, he's a cheerful guy. Um, he could be worse, I guess. He, if He's nothing if not agreeable, we'll say. We got some chicken for Snow Duncan, unfortunately. Well... And I might have a... I, I only had like a couple of hot dogs before I came on here, so I didn't really have a lot of time to eat. So, I had something, but I don't know if it's like really, really satisfying. Why do I feel like if I linger here a little too long, Alexander's just gonna die? I don't know, probably because we're in the realm of death. The servants of the Lord of the Dead don't seem particularly touchable and Alexander has no desire to engage the black-cloaked figures in a fight. The Let's try it again. Excuse me, 
I'd like an audience, please. The shrouded guards escort Alexander to the throne of the Lord oh. of the Dead. Oh, I guess we just had to ask nicely. Okay. Why have you entered my domain, still wearing your flesh? If you are so anxious for death, you might have found it easily enough in the land of the living. But since you are here, you are most welcome to stay. Kiss my hand, and you will be one with the spirits. There will be no pain. Um... I seek a boon, my lord. Why should death grant you anything, mortal? Oh, I know what I'll use. I'll use this gauntlet. I did not come here to die, but to demand my right of challenge. I respectfully challenge thee, death, by throwing down this gauntlet. Man Ooh. may pass yeah. the portal and seek its master, death. Man may pass where death has trod, and challenge like Scheherazade, he who reigns beneath the sod, to spare a mortal's breath. He has the gauntlet! Hell yeah, I do. Impossible! Impossible. Possible. He challenges death. Mm. Who are you to challenge death? A man of flesh is all I need to be, my lord. And what is it that you seek with this challenge? The soul of some dead maiden? I seek the souls of King Caliphim and Queen Ilaria of the Land of the Green Isles. You would save two human souls and emerge alive from this realm yourself? That shall be a difficult challenge indeed. The tomb does not open its doors lightly. Either all three of us leave, or none go. Very well. Then let me think of an appropriate task. Ah, yes. I have it now. Your challenge is this. For thousands of years, I have sat upon this throne. I have heard every sad tale that can be told by human lips. I have seen tragedies that ended empires, injustices that defy reason, love that would light the very stars turn cold and hard. I have seen torments that cannot possibly be born, and yet must be for centuries. This thing I have never done. I have never shed a tear. Make me cry, thou man of flesh. That is my challenge. <laughs> Make death cry? <laughs> Sooner could he turn sea to stone. <laughs> or fire twice. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, you really gotta admire the brass balls on Alexander coming down here to challenge death. God, I don't know what got into this guy, but you know what? Sometimes love is a funny thing. Makes you do crazy things. At least he's gonna have some good stories to tell Cosima later. Well, let's make death cry, shall we? If your existence has been all that you say it has, then truth alone shall be my sword. The mirror's surface swirls with darkness for a moment, then fills with images even blacker. Oh, look at the look Reflections on face. of despair, of wailing souls, of shackles colder and more immutable than any forged by man, of a world of thirsts that can never be quenched. Alexander feels the mirror tremble in his grasp and is glad that he cannot see its face. But the Lord of the Dead is transfixed to the mirror, to the screening of his life. Things long forgotten are once more uncovered. His enslavement to this throne while still a man, the years of watching misery and horror and growing ever more numb to it, the seep of his own humanity, 
the slow growth of a new thing altogether, which became that which he is now. Ooh. His is an existence that has no possibility of redemption, no end. The surrounding spirits draw away in pain. The truth is so sharp it stabs, so intense it sears. Oh. <gasps> Take it away. Make <laughs> it stop. Oh shit. The mirror of truth cracks from the strain, and death sheds a single gray tear. Oh. Truth is indeed a terrible thing. I have worn this mantle for so long, I had forgotten its dreadful weight. You shall take the souls and leave as I agreed. You have been granted to stay from this inevitable reality. I almost envy you. Find the souls he has claimed and bring them to me. King Caliphim and Queen Alaria, I presume. Your hero has won you a few more years of mortality. May your souls be more prepared for their rest when you return. Thank you, my lord. I hope that they will. And you, man of flesh. My steed shall take the three of you back to the land of the living. Tell her where it is you wish to go. Look at that, we conquered Until death. Until we meet again then, I assure you, we will meet again. No offense, will. my lord, but I hope that will be many long years from now. It is never as long as you might wish, mortal. Now, be gone. Yeah, God, yes, my lord. Truth. It is never as long as you wish, human. <laughs> oh. Well, now we come with the skeleton key that we need. Are you coming, oh. Majesty? El Hazred's treachery must be handled carefully, Alexander. Alari and I must go gather our allies and form a plan. Watch over Kasima. Make sure she comes to no harm. We will return as soon as we can to take back all that has been stolen from us. I will keep her safe until your return. Thank you, son. Your love for our daughter must be deep indeed for you to have undertaken death itself for our sakes. Indeed. May we succeed in what awaits us, and live long together as a family. God. That was a hell of an adventure. Yeah, I, for I forgot how intense it was down in the realm of the dead. <laughs> The little china tea, the teacup contains swamp ooze and water from the river Styx. Uh, I I need to look at my spell. Book. Alexander is, Alex. Because there's like three ingredients that we need here for this. Uh, magic paint. Well, uh, woman cup swamp ooze, river Styx water, one black horse feather. Okay. Well, in that case, I guess we're going to use this, and bam. Alexander dips the large black feather into the teacup and, and stirs the contents gently. To his amazement, the jet black color of the feather slowly drains from end to tip into the teacup. The teacup mixture blackens and thickens to a paint-like consistency. Alexander carefully puts it away, discarding the drained feather. Alright, um, 
Let me save right here. I think we just about got this handled. Um, I believe we're supposed to show this rose to Sensei. Alexander doesn't want... Here, come, birdie. Birdie. Alexander holds out the rose, hoping that the bird will deliver it to Cosima. Yeah, my love could use uh, a little pick-me-up, I think. Perhaps this will lift her spirits ever so slightly. The nightingale takes the rose and heads for the castle once more. Hello, my lady. It is good to see a you. A white rose. How beautiful. It must be from Alexander. <gasps> how I wish that I could see him with my own eyes. But Abdul will never allow it. He only risks capture by sending me these things. Dear to my heart, though they are. Fly elsewhere, my pretty friend. Do not endanger Prince Alexander again by taking tokens from his hand. Forgive <laughs> me, Alexander, and forget me. I cannot return your love for fear that I shall never leave this castle again. I'm sorry, my lady. I must, I must sally forth with my quest. I shall be inside your castle wall shortly. Bird Alexander no waits in vain for Cosima's nightingale to return, but the bird does not. Could there be something wrong? Or does Cosima simply not welcome his attentions further? Ah, uh, Alexander, you should know better. You're a strapping young lad. Cosima is very much into it, by the way. Alright, um... I think I will enter the pawn shop. Ah, yes. Good, good. day, Prince Alexander. Ah, uh, good, good day, shopkeep. You're going to absolutely love this, by the way. Worry not. I shall be up and at him in a moment. Alexander suddenly gets a very sneaky idea. Yes. Do what you must, Alexander. I can't go on anymore. Without Cosima, I'd just rather not live. Prince Alex, no! It's true. The Wazir has beaten me. I give up. Poison is my last resort. Stop. <laughs> I am... No... More. And dead. D E D dead. Sorry, Alexander. The bird oh, did not come what back. What a waste. The poor young fool. He's dead. He's dead. Wait until Abdul hears. He'll be so pleased. <laughs> All right, we should pay attention to the genie's bottle I told you time. not there to pop is. in like that. It's you blue. can learn to knock like everybody else. Sorry, master. I couldn't help myself. I have great news. Well, what is it? Prince Alexander is dead. He killed himself in despair over losing Cosima. <laughs> what? Are you positive? That young man has proven to be most devious. I saw the whole thing myself, Master. He was really and truly quite dead. Really and truly? Hmm. If what you say is true, it shall be most convenient. You've spent enough time on that little irritant. We must start thinking about the wedding. Anything, Master. Oh, I do love weddings. Well, we do want you to look your prettiest, don't we? This genie sounds like a cartoon character. Now, Shamir Shamazel, to the lamp with you. Prepare yourself as we discussed. Alexander's heart lurches to life in his chest. All right, that's a good enough nap there, Alexander. It's time to get up, bud. Prince Alex, but you, you were... Sorry, friend. I was doing a little acting, I'm afraid. Ah, of course, the strange cloaked man. You are quite clever, and a bit too exciting for an old man. Come on, you're not that old. I mean, you look like you're maybe, I don't know, 40 or something? 40 something? 45 maybe? I don't know. Uh, 
switch? Oh, we don't need this tinderbox anymore. We'll just give this back to you, man. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Al Alexander. There we want. I think I'd like the painter's brush. Yes, we need that. Most Very definitely. good, Prince. Thank you. And then we'll come back out here and we're going to get ourselves a lamp because we all saw that blue lamp in that cutscene, right? That's the genie's lamp. Shamir's lamp is a tall blue one. Well, fortunately, we don't need this anymore, so we'll just pass this Excuse off to me, the Peter, lamp man. But I have an old lamp that might interest you. <gasps> ah, an old lamp. And what a nice traditional design, too. <laughs> Take your pick of my new lamps. Old lamps for new. Here, let's take ah, this one. A fine choice, my son. Here is your new lamp. Good day, and I thank you, sir. Good day. <laughs> Let him go. Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, yep, there he goes. Dread. Another dud. <laughs> He's looking for a genie lamp. <laughs> uh, sorry, man. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've got our blue lamp. Okay, we are all set. Good, we chose the right lamp. Okay, I was kind of worried that I might click on the wrong one. <sighs> okay, I think we're good. You're feeling yourself slipping to sleep. You hope everyone has a great night. Okay, Jim. Well, thank you for coming by. I appreciate you being here with us, my friend. I suppose it is getting quite late. It is around 3.21 a.m. And here I am sipping away at my coffee. Well, good night, sweet dreams, and I'll see you soon, Jim. Okay, we're just gonna like hustle over this way and Alexander now that you've got a paintbrush I know exactly how we're gonna get in the castle you need to speak some magic words man I mean if you don't you're gonna have a hard time here bust out that book and let's cast some magic bro speaking the in oh that's right we gotta paint first oh, that's right silly me well, obviously, we're going to use this to paint something. Alexander. Well, what if we like feeling do... artistically inspired? Oh, there he goes. Alexander decides to make use of the large blank castle wall. Ah, a doorway. Just what Alexander was thinking this wall needed. Ahem. Well, with that, let's go ahead and cast some magic now. First things first, right? With trepidation, Alexander gathers his strength for the enchantment of the painted door. Magic paint, black as ink. Bring to life what I think. Make it real what I draw, according to this spoken book. The spell worked. The door has magically solidified. I like those Shreks in chat, AJ. Okay, we're almost back where we were when we first came here, so fortunately this hasn't been too much of an inconvenience going back to the land of Eager the dead. Eager to be inside the cat and steps in... I don't think. The magic paint door fades back into the wall. So much for an easy exit. Yeah... Doesn't look like we're going to be going anywhere too soon. Fortunately, though, we have just about everything we need, I think. Alexander opens the dungeon door and slips inside. We're looking at the right side. If we don't have everything we need, we can kind of just Mother? go back to our last save there. Mother, where are you? Save early, save often, am I right? That's what they always tell you in Sierra Adventure games. All right, little boy. What's the matter, little boy? 
I've got a gift for you. I'm lost. I can't find my mother. Well, your mother can't find you? I don't know why she would just leave me here. I've been alone ever so long. You must be the son of the spirit I met in the realm of the dead. She gave me this handkerchief and asked me to tell you that she's waiting for you there. Oh. Sorry, I had my mouse at the top of the screen there. Oh, it's the mama's. Ugh. It even smells like yeah. her. I can feel her now. I know where to go. Wait. Before you go, is there anything you can tell me about the castle? I like to play in secret places. In the basement behind the Man of Steel is a door. Nobody except me knows it's there anymore. Nobody except me. Well, that's a pretty good tip. Farewell. Farewell. Thank you, kind ghost. Gotta say that, uh, Alexander here is extremely nonplussed by every single strange entity he runs into. The world of King's Quest is quite a strange place indeed, I'd say. Alexander decides to find out what's on the other side of that door. Hey, look who it is. Chalo. Prince Alexander, I can't believe it! How did you get into the castle? Well, I... Actually, it's a little hard to explain. I bet. <laughs> you run the terrible risk of being here, though. The castle is crawling with guard dogs, especially today. The Wazir will have your hide if he finds you. I know that, Jalo. But Kasima is being married today. What greater risk is there than that? Of course you're right. Young love, <laughs> I forgot what heartburn it is. But what are you supposed to do about it? I've got to try to see her. Maybe even stop the wedding. Is that all? And here I thought you would try something dangerous. <sighs> Don't worry about me, friend. <laughs> Just tell me, where is Kasima? As far as I know, she's still in her bedroom upstairs. You'd never make it up there, though. The guard dogs are everywhere, and they're very loyal to the crown. Unfortunately, right now the crown means El Hazred. If we had proof of something truly afoul, the guard dogs might listen. As it is, they're your enemies, not his. I understand. I've had no lack of enemies since I got here. In fact, you'd almost think I wasn't welcome. <laughs> And they say princes have no sense of humor. <laughs> well, I can see there's no putting you off. For Cassina's sake, I wish you luck. I'll be here if there's anything you need. Thanks, Jalo. Oh, I love Jalo. He's such a good guy, you know? All right, Jalo. If you remember, he told us how he has fast fingers. Well, since we have this proper genie lamp or a replica of it, we'll just pass this off to him and then he can go do his thing. I've been there thinking go, of what Jello. you said about swapping a replica for the genie's lamp. I got this lamp from the old lamp seller in town. Do you think it will pass? Oh, look how excited he is. Yeah, it'll pass. Why, yes! It's an exact replica. That's amazing. How did you guess? I suppose it was intuition. <laughs> um. I'll have to wait for the right moment, mind you. But I should be able to get close enough to swap this for the real thing. And none shall be the wiser. Now you shall see Jalo's skill. I'm sure your hands oh, are mightier wait. than my sword, my clever friend. <laughs> Go ahead and do as you've planned, and let me worry about swapping the lamp. If I accomplish the trickery, I'll manage to get the lamp to you somehow. You never fear. Somehow. I have faith, Jolo. You are a true friend. Oh, shucks. I'd do anything for the princess. Well, it's all in Jolo's hands now, I guess. Good luck, Jolo. All right. Well, now we get to explore the rest of the castle, so... 
be relatively simple. All we gotta do is like find that secret passage again, and we already know where it is. But all we gotta do is pull the knight's arm, and oh, what bam! There she goes. Alexander examines. How about you? Remembering what the little boy there ghost he goes. said, Alexander experiments with the suit of armor. He pushes down, then pulls up on the knight's right arm. A secret passage. Curiouser and curiouser, Alexander. Alexander hears the sound of voices coming from nearby. Ooh, let's see what's coming in through the aperture. Alexander peers through the chink in the wall. Captain, I've been hearing rumors from the guards who've been watching the princess. They say lately she's been pounding on her door and begging to be let out. Ain't none of my business, sir, but... News like that is upsetting the other dogs. Ain't no guard in the castle who would willingly keep the princess anywhere she don't want to be. Mm, Hazred claims that a foreign intruder is here to assassinate her. That's why she's got to be kept under lock and key right up until the wedding. Call me an old dog that can't learn new tricks, but I say the princess should be the one given the orders. Al-Hazred has been in charge for months, what with the king's death and Kasima's mourning. Tonight, the wedding will seal it, and there's nothing we can do about it. Like him or not, he's our liege. Need I remind you of your oath to the crown? Aye, we've an oath. For the sake of the princess, we'll not be forgetting it. He'd just better treat her well. Speaking of the wazir, what do you reckon he's keeping in that magical room of his? It's not a magic room. It's just the door he's enchanted somehow. I say he's still got the royal treasury in there, along with whatever else he's so eager to protect. Not even the court treasurer is allowed in there anymore. I heard him in the hall the other day. He was speaking to that door. Black magic is what I say. I heard him say, Ali. But then Bay came up and started yapping at me. Enough! It is not our place to question the practices of our liege, no matter how strange. The wedding will be starting soon. Report to the throne room when you hear the music start. Oh, um, oh, okay. I guess there was like, I guess it was, I, I don't know. I guess they made a mistake when they were making this. <laughs> Let's see here. What is this? Alexander is carrying a message from his beloved cas Oh, 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 wait. Do we not have this? Oh my god, is there something else we don't have here? This. Alright, let's see what happens if we... Okay. I think there's something that I'm missing. Phew, that was a climb. Alexander hears the faint sound of a woman crying nearby. There might be something I'm missing from my inventory. Um, you know what? I don't know. Let's just look through here and let's ro roll the punches. Alexander peers through the chinks in the wall. Alexander's palms begin to sweat and his heart to race. It's Cosima. He's found her. Cosima, I've come Psst. back again to see Princess you. Princess Cosima! What? Who's there? It is Maybe. I. Alexander, I'm here behind this wall. My, how suave that sounds. <clears throat> Alexander? Yes, tis I, my lady. It really is you. Oh, I knew you were close by, but how did you get inside the castle walls? It's a long story and not important now. You did get my ring. Oh, yes. It has brought me such comfort, Alexander, to know you were close by and had not forgotten. But you shouldn't be here. You're only endangering yourself. I don't care about the danger. I would brave anything to learn. What is it? Alhazred, do you want to wed him, Kasima? 
Oh, please believe me when I say that I never agreed to marry that man. Even when my father trusted Abdul absolutely, I never liked him. But with mother and father gone, I'm afraid there's no stopping him. If you do not wish to marry him, Kasima, you shall not, I promise you. Only come with me now, and we shall escape. How? I cannot fit through this wall. Besides, do you think I could leave my kingdom, my people, in Abdul's hands? But Abdul would tear the castle apart if I were to disappear from my room. You shall have to do what you can to delay his plans from your end. I can't just leave you here. Alexander, do not despair from me. I have been safe in this room for nearly six months now. Abdul can be in no hurry, whatever he plans. After all, I'm to be his bride, am I not? I have been planning too, you see. I believe I can escape. If I can only get a chance to lay my hands on a weapon, there might be an opportunity in the hustle of the wedding. But I... Shh, just a moment more, then you must go. Let us not waste time with words. Please, let me just look at you, dear Alexander. Ooh, one moment. I, I think I... Here, let me check something. Um, buh, 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 where were we? Um, we left off, like, right around here, I think. Yes, we did leave off right around here. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick Eager up right to be there. And the magic. I think I, I'm doing things in the wrong order here. Okay, we got, like, the key. Alexander. We got that. Let's go here, give the Alexander. kid. God. This game is very, very particular. Mother Alexander. Alexander. Okay. We'll just blow through a couple of dialogue options here since we've already seen them. And What's here's your handkerchief. Okay, we're good, kid. Take your handkerchief and get out of here. It's my Wait! I like Okay, he'll give us that hot tip and then a mosey on out of here and farewell. Yes, yes, farewell. And now we're going to leave and we're gonna go back and see Jalo. And then we're going to save after we see Jalo because it, it, just in case we run into another snafu. See, what I want to do is Alexander I want to go and, and observe El Hazroid before I talk to Kasima, I think. Prince I think. Alexander, I can't believe it. How did you get into the castle? Well, I... Actually, it's a little hard to explain. I bet. I, I is, don't. Has, if we. I am. Thanks. Okay. Now we'll give him this. And we should be good to go. I've been. Yeah, he's all excited. Come on, Jello. Why, nice. Take I'm, the bottle and I, let's go, man. Perfect. Oh. <sighs> I don't want to get myself soft locked. I am trying desperately not to get soft locked right now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if I just give her the knife, I wonder if that would be fine. Because I feel like there's something else I'm supposed to do. I want to check first before I do anything else. Uh, I want to go check on the wizard, and then I want to go and get into his bedroom. And then, then we'll see what happens. Remember it? A secret? Perfect. I think we've got everything we need. Alexander he Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna save right now. Where are we? There we are. Um... Yeah, we'll save like... Yeah, we'll save right here. Under things are getting spicy. Alexander... Like not it's higher. Okay. That's over with. Now we'll go upstairs and we're gonna blow right past Kasima. After we blow past Kasima, we're gonna go observe the wizard, and then we're gonna go into his bedroom. Yeah. Cause I think there's gonna be some good stuff in there, fam. And I want it. I want it all. Alexander. Okay. We're going to ignore her. We still love her, honest. We still love her very, very much, but, you know, um... 
we don't want to, we don't want to, you know, have her be taken away quite yet. There's probably some stuff down here that I think is going to be very, very useful. If only he would go around the corner there. Because walking controls in Sierra games are a little touch and go, as we all know. Alexander looks through the chink in the wall. Yes, look, look, look well, Alexander. Yes. <laughs> it is time to be sneaky. Dear Shadrach, salutations from the Society of the Black Cloak, etc., etc. My long preparations are about to come to fruition. And? In a matter of minutes, I will wed the lovely <laughs> Gazima. Hmm. You devil. Once I've established my power and my crown, I can stage another accident. Accident, he calls it. Ah! The same accident that befell the king and the queen, The princess no doubt. has proven infuriatingly stubborn, as you know. She's becoming quite a dangerous little thorn in my side. In a way, it is a shame I have to kill her. She is lovely and would be amusing to keep around, but I can't risk her talking treason to one of the guards. So far, I've managed to keep her locked away, but I can't continue that forever. Well, on to it now. I'd send her to you, but as you know, I had no luck in doing so with Mordak. I close in triumph. King Abdul Alhazred. King! What a lofty man with lofty ideas of how and things now, are And now to see to the go. final preparations. It's almost time for the wedding. <laughs> He's having too much fun with this. He's so deliciously evil. The wazir's words fill Alexander with blazing anger and fear for Cosima's life. Ah, yes. That blackguard! That murderous swine! He'll not have his way if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> ah. There's a vague outline of what appears to be a door on the wall. Well, obviously that's a doorway that we should go in. Alexander sees lots of black cloaks. Yes, now we are in the Wissier's bedroom. Oh, yeah. Let's see what's Alexander this. opens the ebony box and looks inside. Yes. Alexander can... Inside the ebony box is a piece of paper with the word Zebu printed on it. Hmm. The box can... Some old ivory duck... Some old... Yeah, it's like nothing else here. Well, since we have the skeleton key this time around, let's go ahead and open this. Alexander inserts the skeleton key in the trunk's lock and turns it. Yes. He hears a click. Perfect. Alexander opens the trunk. This is what we were looking for, bro. All right. It looks like the owner of this trunk is quite the correspondent. The stack of letters appears to be ordered by date because the top one is dated only a month ago. Oh, 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 oh. A few worn leather books occupy the trunk. The top one is entitled Guidebook to the Land of the Green Isle. Um. A book like that might have been a big help when Alexander first arrived. The trunk's owner obviously found it interesting too, for the guidebook is dog-eared and stained. Well, that would have been very useful indeed. I suppose it's a little be it's a little late to be taking it, isn't it? The books look interesting, but the castle is not a good place to relax and read. Well, when you put it like that, I suppose not. A small glass bottle filled with oily-looking perfume is in one corner of the trunk. Hmm. Alexander isn't. We'll just Alexander the picks up the most recent letter and examines it. Ooh. The Dear letter is addressed to Abdul al Hazred from the wizard Shadrach. It reads, Greetings to a brother of the Black Cloak. I was sorry to hear of Great Mordak's death, though he was a bit of a ninny at chess. It seems the plans for that little kingdom of yours are coming along. 
I must congratulate you on your handling of the king and queen. Isolating the island so that no protest could develop was another brilliant stroke. It looks like there's not much left to stand in your way. Do as I recommended with the girl, and you shall have your crown. That fiend! Ah, uh, yes, quite the incriminating letter, if I do say so. Princess Cosima shall be very interested, I think. Alexander is carrying a... Yes, this will be good. This is perfect. And now we go back. Now we go back to Princess Cosima. We have many things to show her and a knife Alexander to give her. crawls back through the wardrobe to reach the secret passage. Milady, this is going to be very, very good. Yes. Walk, Alexander. Walk with much haste. Move thy legs, good sir. If only you move faster, we can show these things to Cosima and make her fall deeply in love. Well, let's be real. She's Alexander. already in love with Alexander. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, showing her the right stuff. Here, let's say if you're just in case we biff it. I don't think we will, but, you know. Alexander peers through the chinks in the wall. Alexander's... Ah, oh, there's my lady. What? It is... My... Alexander... Okay, we're just gonna blow past this dialogue this time, because we've already seen it like It twice. really is? It's a long story, and not... Oh, yes. It is... But you shouldn't be here. I'm afraid I'm not the only one in danger. Princess, be brave. I've heard such vileness today, such evil. What is it? al -Hazri. Oh, I've known that for years. But tell me. The kingdom is in trouble, but the... How if you do not wish to marry him... But I'm... I... Hold on a second. I Alexander, stay... Hold on a second. This dialogue sounds a little bit different. Here, we're gonna, like, listen this time. Because it's not, like, the same. Alexander Pierce. I want to hear this this Alexander's time. palms begin to sweat, and his heart to race. It's Cosima. He's phoned her. Princess C What? It is I. My, how suave that sound. Alexander? Put that cookie down! Now! Alright, let's listen to this, because this is it a different really is dialogue. It really is you! Oh, I knew you were close by, but how did you get inside the castle walls? You were in danger, my lady. It's a long story, and not important now. You did get my ring. Oh, yes. It has brought me such comfort, Alexander, to know you were close by and had not forgotten. But you shouldn't be here. You're only endangering yourself. I'm afraid I'm not the only one in danger. Princess, be brave. I've heard such vileness today, such evil. <laughs> what is it? al Hazred. He is not what he appears. Oh, we knew oh, I've that. I've known that for years, Alexander. But with mother and father gone, I'm afraid there's no stopping him. It's more complicated But tell than that. me of what evil you speak. I have been so afraid for my kingdom, not knowing what he plans. The kingdom is in trouble, but the real threat at the moment is to your safety, Princess. al Hazred has such plans. You don't want to wed al Hazred, do you? How can you ask? Of course not. If you do not wish to marry him, Cosima, you shall not, I promise you. But we must get you out of here now. You are not safe. But Abdul would tear the castle apart if I were to disappear from my room. You shall have to do what you can to delay his plans from your end. I can't just leave you here. Alexander, do not despair from me. I have been safe in this room for nearly six months now. Abdul can be in no hurry, whatever he plans. After all, I'm to be his bride, am I not? I have been planning too, you see. I believe I can escape. If I can only get a chance to lay my hands on a weapon, there might be an opportunity in the hustle of the wedding. But I... Shh, just a moment more, then you must go. Let us not waste time with words. Please, let me just look at you, dear Alexander. Okay, that was a little bit different. It was kind of the same in a lot of parts, but it was a little bit different. Yeah, I'm glad you like that sound by AJ. It's what it's there for, right? Yeah, let's give her Here, a weapon. Here, take this dagger. It's not much, 
but it might come in handy. Yes, my lady. You, you're now Why, armed. Why, it's perfect. This is just the sort of thing I've been looking for. Thank you, Alexander. I'll keep it close and use it if I must. Mm, that's the idea, my lady. Now I must show you something else. This is for your eyes only. Alexander is... Yes, that's the boy we want. Here, my lady. I found this letter in the wazir's bedroom. I... I think you should know what it says. You will not like it. Oh, she's reading. She's reading. And... Ooh, there's those eyes. I can't believe it! I had my suspicions, but this confirms everything. Alexander, you must keep the letter. He might have a chance to show it to someone who can help you stop Alhazred. Just be careful. I will, my lady. Fear not. For now... Alexander looks with longing at the fair Cosima. She's even more beautiful than he remembered. Ah, uh, yes. Oh no! Someone's coming! The lock on Cosima's door rattles abruptly. Alexander, hurry! Step away before they see you! Alexander hears scuffling and a woman's brief cry from the other side of the wall. Then, silence. Oh, well, we accomplished a lot there. That's actually a lot different than uh, where we were. <laughs> oh my, princess. I'm sorry for your woes, my lady, but now we must be entering this hallway. We must leave the secret passage and figure out a way to save the fair princess. With all the with all this intrigue that we're deep in the midst of, I wonder how we can possibly stay alive. Come on, come on, go, Alexander. Go, 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 go. There he goes. Okay, good. There's a strange door on the west wall. There doesn't appear to be any handle or keyhole on the door. Uh, what if we like? Alexander doesn't see. Alexander's is there... the castle basement is cool. This is the. But if we... since the door on the west wall has no visible knob or handle, Alexander decides to try to open it with his voice. He composes his words carefully. Oh. What if we like it, the word that we found up in up there was like Zebu, so like Ali Zebu. Listen, Dor, I would have you open Ali Zebu. It worked. Oh. Hey, yeah, that worked. All right, so here we're gonna save again. Ah. <laughs> yeah, what can we possibly take in here? I wonder. Decorative shields and spears made of gold hang on the treasure room walls. Those seem like they might be useful. We should take those. Need a weapon. Alexander doesn't need the gold shield and spears. Besides, the soft gold wouldn't stand up well in a real battle. Well, that is completely unpractical. Alexander doesn't need the impractical. Urns. Okay, no, you probably don't need an urn. But Those still. trunks probably contain the kingdom's treasure. Once guarded so well and used so wisely by King Caliphim, now in the hands of that blackguard El Hazred. Hmm. Well, we could use some Mun Mun. I mean, you gotta return him home with Daventry eventually. Alexander has no wish to steal from the treasury of the land of the Green Isles. It might be under the Wazir's control now, but it still belongs to the people. Oh. Alexander, come on, man. It's for a good cause. Alexander pulls the drapery aside, curious as to what might lie underneath. Oh, I wasn't expecting that to work. What is underneath? What? What is that? Oh. Was that a model? What the hell am I looking at? On the table is a strange looking stone that's giving off an odd high pitched noise. Uh -huh. That must be the Isle of Wonders singing stone. 
Didn't the queens think that the beast had stolen it? On the table is a coat of arms with the head of a beast on the crest. Oh, fun. Hmm. Beast said that his coat of arms was stolen by the druids. This must be it. Well, when you're right, you're right, I guess. Okay, we're just gonna take it all back at once, huh? On the table is a miniature oak tree. It looks very old. What the hell is this? Hmm. What the? That must be the sacred miniature oak that the druids thought the winged ones stole. Oh. You mean it was all a Wasir? It's just a, it's literally all a Wasir. Every evil thing that happens in the Green Isles is just all the Wasir. Well, I guess that does track. It would be him. A gracefully curled trumpet hangs on the wall. I'm not gonna lie, that trumpet seems pretty pretty alluring. We should take that. Alas, the trumpet won't bring these walls tumbling down, and thus is of little use to Alexander. Oh yeah, you'll you'll leave the trumpet, but you'll bring like a stinky uh, flower, huh? Or you'll take a rabbit's foot, or, or what's something else equally useless? Um, well, the rest of this isn't as useless. I mean, that's just something you picked up from Cosima. But, yeah, the rabbit's foot and the stinky flower. I mean, come on, man. Alexander decides to leave the singing stone here in the treasure room for safekeeping until it can be returned to the Isle of Wonder. Oh my god, I didn't enter this room for nothing. Take something. Alexander dis... Alexander decides to leave Beast's coat of arms here in the treasure room until it can be returned to its owner. On the table is a fleece made of gold. That fleece must belong to the winged ones. And they thought the Isle of Wonder had taken it. As Alexander looks at the objects on the table, he realizes the depth of the wazir's cunning. It must have been the wazir or an accomplice who stole that one thing most precious to each island and then leaked rumors that one of the other islands was responsible. What did the wazir have to gain by causing the islands to hate one another? He's just sowing discord. That's all he's doing. Can I take the, can I take the golden fleece? Alexander decides to leave no, the golden fleece here in the treasure room for safekeeping until it can be returned to the Winged Ones. So there's like nothing I can take in here, huh? <laughs> well, he's been sowing Discord all along to get all these people arguing amongst themselves. What a... What a he's just evil for like no reason. What, what's the end game there? Alexander is standing in... Alright, I thought that might be something over there, but those it's not. Those trunks... Those... Tr Alright, there's nothing in here. Literally, there's nothing, so... Uh, hmm. Alexander hears the sound of music coming from the east. It sounds somewhat classical, but... Wait, oh what? no, it's wedding music. Alexander hears a door off the north hall open. Then, the sound of guard dog footsteps. Uh -oh. The footsteps are headed this way. We should probably go. Here, we should move, we should move, we should move. And good. Alexander hears the sound of a guard's footsteps coming from the north. Uh oh. The wedding music has begun. Alec. Uh oh. Here, what if we like? What if we like go this way and just go over here? Uh oh. A guard dog. Alexander's. Been hey, you. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, I, I think I'm a little lost. I, I was looking for the wedding and. <clears throat> Be quiet. The wizard told us to look out for a saboteur. My nose tells me that's you. Guards! Alexander watches helplessly as the guards descend upon him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just descending on me, huh? You'll stay in here until we find out what the wizard wants to do with you. Hey, Jolly, The guard you dogs leave Alexander to his fate, locking the door noisily behind them. Alexander wonders how he'll get out of this one. So, I guess we're not supposed to go in that room with the guard dogs, huh? Ah, thanks, Jalo. Psst! Prince Alex! Jalo! What are you doing here? Never mind. Quick! Before the guard dog patrol comes around again! What would I do without you, man? I would be up a creek. But how did you know I was... You this just is no place to talk, Alexander. Just trust that I know everything that goes on in this castle. Now, be more careful. If you get caught again, I don't know if I'll be able to get you out. He won't. We only get one. 
jeez. Oh, all right, all Alexander right, all right. hears That's a fine. door of the north hall open. Okay, we should go. 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 Oh wow, they're just giving me a crown. Alexander right hears the guard enter the west hall. Oh boy. Here, we need to go. Um what if we like save right here? It's oh god. Wedding bells are ringing. Okay, stay alive, Alexander. Stay alive. We're gonna go up here, and we're just we're just gonna go up here. Might as well just open that door, buddy. Okay, here we are. Alexander looks cautiously around the grand hall, but there are no guard dogs to be seen. Um. The wedding music is coming from behind those two large doors. Oh, I'm not going through there. You just know if you go through there, you're just gonna eat it. Uh, oh, you're just gonna go up there yourself, huh? Okay. You do you, Alexander. That's, that's cool. Prince Alexander, here. The Wazir will have my head for allowing you within a mile of the royal wedding. Since you are of noble birth, I will give you five seconds to explain your presence here before killing you. I warn you, it had better be good. Oh, oh, well, how, w would this letter explain anything? Wait! If you love your princess, you'll hear me out. The oh, Wazir right. is not what he appears to be. Kasima is in terrible danger. I have proof that this is so. For your princess's sake, you must believe me. Let me see that. Ooh, Saladin yeah. reads the letter, his sword points still against Alexander's throat. Alexander watches the guard dog's noble face darken with rage. Ooh. Mm. This is treason. I'll have his throat. But how do I know this letter is not a forgery? You could have written this yourself. But I did oh. not. Have you no doubts of your own about a Hazred? Don't you see? All he wants is the crown. Kasima is being coerced. We must stop the wedding. It is true. I have had my suspicions about the Wazir, especially when King Caliphim and Queen Alaria died. But I have seen Kasima with him several times. She appears to be quite happy, even enthusiastic. That's the genius. I don't believe she could love him if he truly were so wicked. I cannot believe for a moment that she loves that snake. A jilted lover would not believe it. But come, see for yourself. Wait. The captain of the guard leads Alexander into the throne room, where a ceremony seems to be in progress. Alexander feels his blood run cold at the sight. Oh, man. I, Kasima, declare Abdul al Hazred as my lawful and beloved husband and king of this realm. Wait, what? But, Kasima. What are you saying? Do you still claim that the princess is being forced? Perhaps it's you that's the danger, as the wazir has said. Uh-oh. Um. Um, 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 um. Um, 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 oh, 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 okay. Hold on a second. Okay, we, we might be in trouble here. We're gonna save, and oh god. Oh god, um. Moment of truth. Hey Jallo, anytime you want to show up with that lamp would be pretty good, because I'm pretty sure we're looking at, like, pretty sure we're looking at, um, what if, what if we just, like, show this to her? If we just talk. Oh, God! <laughs> I got me pretty good there. <laughs> Ooh, oopsie daisies. He, he, he dead. <laughs> Kasima, stop! Okay, he's going for it. Oh, Prince all Alexander talk. here? This is an outrage! How dare you allow this traitor to get past you, Saladin? You stupid mutt! Can't you even keep the castle free of assassins during your own princess's wedding? Kill him! Kill him now! Lord al -Hazred, with all due respect, you are not quite king yet. And this is a wedding ceremony, not an execution. What? 
How dare you contradict me, you flea-bitten mongrel! I gave a direct order. Obey me, or feel my wrath. Open your eyes, Milady. I apologize for my behavior, but I am yours to command in all things. I wanted merely to hear your own wishes from your own lips. Tell me what it is that you wish me to do with this young man, and I will obey. Why, Captain, it's a genie. you heard my dear Abdul. If he wishes this atrocious young man's death, then I want nothing more than to see him get his wish. Obey thy liege now and always. As you wish, Princess. Oh, that's not good. Just as Saladin prepares to run Alexander through with his sword, a shout is heard from the direction of the Grand Hall. Oh, God. Hold! In the name of the true king! Hey! Look who it is! King Caliphim and Queen Alaria burst into the throne room, looking alive and well, and full of wrath. Oh. Behind them, a line of supporters look prepared to battle, if necessary, for their beloved royal couple. Kasima, darling, are you all right? Has he hurt you? Hands off of her, you murderous goat! If I want your advice, I'll ask for it, mother. But, Caliphim, that's not Kasima. Oh. I know my daughter anywhere. Oh. What have you done with our daughter, you devil? The lovely image of Kasima suddenly bursts into smoke and is replaced by the Wazir's genie. Knew it! Why, <laughs> you, you conniving serpent! Oh, that Get him, guard! Cut someone. Saladin, your sword! Drat it all! You may have ruined my plans, but you won't get me, or your precious Kasima. Get them, Shamir! I command you! Oh, Jello! Where are He's you, dude? He's getting away! Stop him! Yes, sire! As soon as I deal with this genie! <laughs> Shamir, the wazir's genie, begins to throw balls of dazzling light at the guard dogs. Uh-oh. Hey, Jello? Any time now, dude. Uh-oh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, oh god, oh god. He's like killing everything right now. Oopsie daisies. Um, 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 oh god. I, 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 I'm not sure I have anything here. Jalo, don't, don't you have anything, man? Um, 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 oh, oh, okay. Um, do, do I make him smell like, do I make him s wake up and smell the roses? Alexander doesn't have time to d Here. The gotcha! Prince Alexander? Uh-oh. No! Oh, God! Well, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> thanks thanks for the Shreks and the... <laughs> thanks, AJ. God, I did not expect that to go down like that. Kasima, stop! I expected Jowl to like, come in with a bottle or something. At least I Prince thought he was Alec going to. Why can't... Jo okay. King happens, Caliphim guys. and Queen Alari. We're gonna blow past everything. I'm gonna make sure that I'm taking control of Alexander this done. time. Hang. If I want your advice, I'll ask for. But what the? Why you get ratted? He's okay. getting away. Stop him! Yes, sire. As soon as I deal with this genie. All right, all right, all right, all right. We should we should save. This is gonna get hairy. Um. Uh, recall this one, rub the lamp. Okay, let's see what happens. Shamir, the wazir's genie, begins to throw balls of dazzling light at the guard dogs. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, he did that. Okay. All right, we should probably pick up that sword now. Alexander can't help the guard dogs in their battle against the genie. The wazir is getting away. Alexander. Okay, let's just, let's just run like hell. Let's get the hell out of here. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna follow him. Screw this. <laughs> Jalo can figure it out. He's got the bottle, right? Yeah, where do you think you're going, man? Going right up here. We're gonna follow you. You don't you're not getting away. Yeah, you're all by yourself now. Oh, wait, Alexander, there's a sword over there. Be careful, Al Hazard has a sword! And Shut so up, witch! Shamir Shamazel! Get in here! Uh -oh. Here I am, master! Uh-oh. 
It's about time, you bumbling fool! How could you let him follow me? Well, there were the guard dogs, Master, and then... Oh. Never mind! Just kill him! Kill him now! Uh, Jalo? Uh, as you wish, Master. Jalo? Razzle, dazzle, snap and snazzle! Oh. oh thank God! Alexander, I did it! I swapped the lamps! Here, quick, take it! Take it? Finally! Bless you, Jalo! I knew you could do it! Now get clear, friend. No arguments there, my lord. Good luck! Yeah, nothing like a little high-stick situation here. Okay, we should probably take out this bottle and, uh, wha-bam. Shamir Shamazel, hold your spells. I am your master now. I order you to go back into your lamp. Yeah. How did you get my lamp? You thief! You, you, you've ruined me! My lamp! Oh, thank Balhalla! I hated working for that loathsome creature. I already feel his nastiness leaving me. How I've longed for a master like you. Oh, you're welcome there, bud. Oh, tough break there, Abdul. I've got a new master. I've got a new master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, unexpected, but delightful. Uh-oh. Oh, oh god. So, you are a thief as well, Alexander. Stealing the lamp was very clever, I'll grant you that. But I am the master thief. Face my sword if you dare. The man left standing shall have the lamp. Uh, so shall it be, Al Hazred. I don't need the genie to deal with a coward like you. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty badass. Grab that sword, bro. Yeah, take that sword. Inspiration. Alexander fixes upon the only weapon in sight. Yeah. Strike him down, Alexander. Oh. Zounds! Oh. This sword must weigh a ton. Oh, that's... <laughs> Good. Then you shall only fail sooner, my prince. Oh. Oh, um, 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 okay. This mouse shall bite, as you shall soon see. Or should I say, soon feel? Oh, we're not gonna get through this, are we? Wait, this is gonna work? Wait, that's what we gotta do? You can barely lift that sword, my prince. Better to lay it down now. I promise to dispatch you with little pain. A tempting uh. offer. But I think I'll wait and see you what this sword can do. Suit yourself. Um. Um, you maybe wanna, like, go over and free the princess? Oh, yeah, he's doing great. Yeah, go go ahead, go ahead. keep duking it out there, bud. Yeah, he's still going. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Oh, um... God, you know, I'm awfully impressed that he's still alive. God, he's getting his ass kicked a little bit. Oh, wait, there goes the princess. Wait, 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 and... Alexander's arms start to tremble under the effort of wielding the huge sword. His muscles are nearing exhaustion. Oh. And so it ends. Oh, it Not end. if I can help it, you murderer. Oh, she's gonna get it. Oh. thrusts the small dagger into Al Hazred's shoulder with all her might. Oh, she got him good, ah! bro. You, you dare raise a finger to me? You will regret that, princess. All right, time to strike no him down. There's no reason to use that object there. What are you talking about? Hit him. Hit him! Oh. I forget. I stalk a kitten and turn my back to a lion. It wouldn't do to let you gather your strength again, my prince. Al Hazred finishes off Alexander with one swipe of his sword. Thank you, King's Quest. Forgive me, Kasima. Alexander! No! They will hide me, bro. <laughs> Man, that was almost really, really Shamir, good. The wizard. Alexander. De okay, let's let's go. Let, we need to haul ass, bro. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. We got this. We got this. I think we're gonna save once we get to the top of the stairs. Here, 
let's uh yeah we're gonna save like right here okay battle of, with wazir alexander be careful Al hazard has a sword so shut up wench here it's about what never yeah. Raz okay joe give it to <gasps> me baby bless you no one Good, we're good, we're good, and Genie Land. Shamir Shamazel. My lamp. <sighs> I've got a new man. Okay. So you are. So shall it. Oh, he don't need a bottle to deal with it, but it sure would help if we had something. We'll take the sword, for instance. Okay, let's broadsword him, baby. Zounds! <laughs> so, the mouse would bite? Hey, this wait. mouse shall bite, as you shall soon see. Or should I say, soon feel? Oh, God. God, look at him go with the sword. <laughs> ha! You can barely lift that sword, my prince. Better to lay it down now. I promise to dispatch you with little pain. A tempting offer, but I think I'll wait and see you what this sword can do. Suit yourself. Hello there, Gamer Pro 202. It's good to have you here with us. Hope that life's treating you good tonight. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining us. How are you tonight, by the way? Look at this sword fight. <laughs> it's remarkable that Alexander is not dead yet. Like he can barely handle that thing. Look at him go. <laughs> he is dealing some nice knuckle sandwiches to the Lazier for having no combat experience. Alexander's arms start to tremble under the effort of wielding the huge sword. His muscles are nearing exhaustion. All right, let's see if we can pull this one off. Ooh. Ha! And so it ends. Not if I can help it, you murderer! Come on! Kasima yeah! thrusts the small dagger into Al Hazred's shoulder with all her might. Ah! You! You dare raise a finger to me? You will regret that, princess! She dares! That would serve no pr Go! Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> you ilka bonged him? Oh. Kasima, are you all right? I'm fine, oh. Alexander. I was just okay. so afraid for you. There's no need to fear anymore, princess. Yes, I know. How can I ever repay you for myself, for my kingdom? It was not in me to let harm come to you. Can you find it in you, princess, to give me more than your gratitude? Oh. Alexander, what are you saying? I love you, Kasima. <laughs> Would you ever consider... Do you think you could... marry me? Could you ever have doubted it, my prince? Aww. Aww, that's nice. Uh, ahem. Oh! Guards! Princess Kasima, are you well? I'm quite well, thank you. Please take Abdul and put him in the dungeon. See to it that he gets a doctor. Yes, Majesty. He's gonna get a doctor, huh? I really thought that Alex was gonna give him the old, you know, run him through treatment. But, you know, <laughs> this is another option. I like that bonk emote. Alexander really did, didn't he? Boop. <laughs> Hit him like he was in WWE. One week later... Kasima and Alexander ask Captain Saladin to perform their wedding ceremony. Saladin is honored to do so. On this historical day of great joy in the land of the Green Isles, we witness the union of Kasima, beloved princess of this realm, and Alexander, prince of Daventry. Hey. Do you, Prince Alexander of Daventry, take Princess Cosima to be your wife, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live? I do. 
And do you, Princess Cosima of the Land of the Green Isles, take Prince Alexander to be your husband, to love and to cherish, for as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you have a ring? I have Alexander's royal insignia ring. Oh, that's a pretty good Very ring. Very good. Please place the ring on Cosima's finger. Who gives this bride to be wed? Her mother and I willingly give our daughter's hand in wedlock. Who will speak for the groom? I will. Alexander's mother and I <coughs> recognize his marriage to Princess Cosimo with glad hearts and sanction this union. It's then King Ram. Alexander and Cosima, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. <coughs> King Grant will be small as hell still! Not used to seeing him in blue pants, not gonna lie. Congratulations, my children. I have an important question for you both. Please hear me. Yes, uh -oh. sire? Alexander, I welcome you into our family with open arms. I place trust in Alhazred because I so badly wanted a son and a husband for my beloved daughter. I was wrong. But you are true and good, Alexander. You have proven yourself to all my people. Thank you, sire. Olaria and I have been through much, even though we have returned to our kingdom. I do not think we are able to reign again. Will you two consider the crown? Oh, God. I know as king and queen, you can heal this small kingdom from all the damage that Alhazred has inflicted upon it. Oh, Father. Why, I'm honored. What do you think, Cosima? I love my homeland, Alexander. I would be happy to stay and serve it all my days. Father, I believe I'm needed here. Would you be very disappointed if... Son, you must follow your destiny. I do believe the land of the Green Isles needs you. You'll be a magnificent king, though dearly missed in Daventry. Then, I accept. Oh, my boy, what a man you've become. And how I will miss you. Oh, man. Don't worry, Mother. With Shamir's powers, we'll be able to visit often. I'm not about to forget my family. Mm, congratulations, Alexander. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, <laughs> dear sister. Oh, Alexander, I'm so glad. Between the return of my beloved parents and our new reign, you've made me so happy. I'm glad I could make up for some of your suffering, my beautiful wife. Congratulations, King Alexander. When we return home to Daventry, your crew will be glad to hear that their battle at sea was worthwhile in bringing forth a new monarch. We were so worried when your men arrived home without you, son. I'm so thankful that you are safe and happy. And I am as grateful that my crew did not pay for my driven heart. You have only brought us all good fortune, sire. With Shamir saved and his power used for good, reuniting the islands will be far easier. He has already repaired the ferry. Your hey. road will be easier now that the islands are no longer feuding. Already the wounds are starting to heal. Yes, my love. Discovering the island's stolen treasures has done more to bring peace to this land than anything else. It is now clear that Alhazred had Shamir steal each of the island's most valued treasures, then blame the thefts on others to cause the islands to hate each other. Now let us celebrate our good fortune. The evil that has plagued this land is done, and a new reign begins. Long live King Alexander and Queen Cosima. <laughs> Long live King Alexander! <laughs> Long live Queen Cosima! Hell yeah. Long live the land of the Green Isles! Hooray! 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 Oh, I can't believe I'm king of this land now. Kind of rules. Face certain death this whole time, it turns out I'm gonna be king all along. Hell yeah, dude.
Oh, look, there's little chess pieces down the bottom right there, and it looks like that's the beast down at the right, too. Oh! Thank you for playing. I guess we get a song at the end of this, don't we? You seem so far away. Aww. And I just need to hear your voice. Oh! Well, that was a really nice game, guys. I just need to hear I really enjoyed that. Say. 